It may all start to get a little peculiar after that. Michael Z. Wolfman. And Mickey Wolfman. And Mickey Wolfman. Has vanished. So wh where would I uh, find him? He's a technically Jewish, but wants to be a Nazi. And a girl don't necessarily want to get into difficulties with those folks. You got a spare picture I can borrow? Mm -hmm. The cool thing about it is that the way Paul films, it's one of those things where he's, a lot of his films are not chaos necessarily, but there's a lot going on, just a lot going on. But when it finishes, you kind of, you have to process it. And Thomas writes very much that way. And um, I think Thomas, he said in an interview once that his book, he wanted it to be so chaotic that in the end, it's simple, which I think is kind of like a magical thought. And I think Paul accomplished that. Um, and I was in love with the film, but it did. It, it took me a f like a good week to really process it and kind of figure it out. Like sometimes you want it just to be yours, and, and you hope nobody's uh, offended by that. But you know, if it, I, I don't. It, Pynchon is so interesting to me that it was like, why try and reinvent Pynchon? That's just dumb. So yeah, it helped a lot. But only because I know Paul loved the book a lot. You know, that's why he chose to do this, and so. I felt it was important, yeah, you know. I felt it was essential, actually. I, I highlighted all my characters' parts in the books and kind of just had them as a backup to know the story and just what was going on, you know. But yeah, I think, for me, it absolutely was essential. Whoa. Are you all right? Am I? Are you? Ordinarily, we're the ones asking the questions. And your question is, which side am I on? Good question. Wrong answer. Woo!